Are you stuck on stage 835? Or maybe you're stuck on stage 940. Maybe you're stuck on stage 1020. If you're stuck on any of those stages, then in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you some strategies you can take to beat it. This is a pretty universal video that can apply to almost any stage in the game. So let's go through a couple of things on how to beat these hard stages, some strategies you can take, and some things you just want to take a look at before you attempt these stages. And just as a quick tip before we get into this, make sure you guys are using level sync and the reset level features in this game. Uh, they do help out a lot as far as beating levels and, and trying to clear them level sync if you have all of your slots full and you have to pay a hundred to get someone out and put someone back in then it might be better for you to reset level just reset one of your highest level people and, and level up that person if they're epic or epic plus and all of your characters are over level 101 then you might want to just think about spending 100 gems to, to unlock that level sync slot but i know for most people stuck on stage 835 and maybe even 940 uh, they might not even beat that max level yet for epic or epic plus just keep that in mind in this guy that i do use both of these features to uh to help me out the defeat levels all right guys so hopping into the first tip here is gonna be the stage number that you're on that stage number should correlate to the minimum level of all of your characters so if you're just starting out on stage eight for example it's probably best to have a minimum of all level 80 souls and then when you get closer to the end you probably want a minimum of a higher level 80 when you get to stage nine you want a minimum of level 90 characters when you get to stage 10 you want a minimum of level 100 characters so on and so forth i think using this strategy will help you out tremendously now it may take you more time to do that but if you save a lot of those idle items in the beginning of the game you can start gradually using them at this point to level up your characters for the strat that i employ though guys is i try to have everyone at least the level of the stage number so taking a look here we're at stage 1111 11. i have most of my characters level 121 and one character level 115 and i have one character that is a lot higher level than everyone else which is my tolly which right now is my dps carry i'm using tolly to basically carry me through all my dps needs because you might hit a point where your, your dps is just not enough at having everyone the minimum level this is really just to have them survive um, and they do some damage but your main dps carry i would recommend having a lot higher level so guys number two is going to be the formation and placement of your characters on your team when you fight these stages for this example guys we're gonna be taking the formation that i used to beat 835 and the formation i used the literally the try before i beat 835 which ended very very differently for each occasion one winning and one absolutely getting destroyed so let's go ahead and take a look at the team first that i used before i beat 835 it was mephi talia adriana and naya in the back with chloe in the front and as you can see here i went ahead and quit the match at this point but my mephi and talia had already died all i had left was angel naya and and Chloe, my main DPS, which was Tali, had already died. And uh, their whole team was still alive. We basically did no damage to them. And it ended quite bad. And literally the team that I used to beat 835 with. Is I literally just swapped Talia and Mephi as you can see here. Um, and it made the world of a difference. Because in the previous round. Their Adriana had pulled in my Mephi. Which was my main damage dealer. Really targeting those beast type units. And one of which being a healer and their tank. When I swap Mephi and Talia around. Naya is the one who gets pulled to the center and dies as a sacrificial lamb. Rather than mephi and that makes a world of a difference so we're going to take a look at the round that i won here for 835 uh, in this round right here, uh, as you can see, Naya gets pulled into the middle. Chloe's taking the most of the damage because they're, she's targeting. Naya isn't dead yet, which is really good. We get enough to get a freeze off there. Uh, we do a stun there. We go ahead and hit with Mephi's ability. Then we hit Mephi's ultimate skill to get a kill on that tank unit in the front. Uh, using the skills at the correct times also matter too. Sometimes you don't want to use your main DPS for their skill. Sometimes you need to use someone else's skill if, you, if you're really low on one of their units like right there their tank we went ahead and went all in with Mephi's ability just to kill that tank in the front here and now all they have left is both their healers and their assassin base unit and they're all packed into a corner now the Mephi's ability gets used again of course we're gonna go ahead and smack everyone's ability now now we use Talia's ability just because they're down on units now it'll give us some more uh, regeneration for our skills and everything like that obviously you can see there they're still kind of high on HP they both have both their healer still which is the main problem of this stage is have so many healers and we also got really lucky with the naya ability here because naya actually um slept both of the healers here which gave us time to actually kill both of the enemies uh and that's why placement matters guys because sometimes it's just a matter of changing one unit around to another slot and you can absolutely win as you can see we slept both the healers we got both the healers killed now all they have left is their angel uh which we absolutely demolished with all five of our characters we didn't lose a single character that time and we won 
And that leads us kind of into the next point now. Let's see what characters you actually need to beat a level. And also knowing the skills of all the characters so you know what you're actually up against. Using Tintin as an example here, that's, this is a great example of knowing how the enemy's abilities work. I know that Mika and Niha are going to have really strong together. Especially Mika is going to do big damage because she's linked with that. And also they have a Naya which can sleep my enemies. And then finally they have an angel here which does healing and pulls in the furthest enemy away. So for my case. I went ahead and swapped out for Rebecca here. Um, now we'll get into using friends in a second here. Um, but yeah, I swapped out to a friend Rebecca here to help out uh, with some of the healing here because they do a lot of healing. So I use Rebecca to mitigate that healing done so we can really focus down and kill those, uh, those healed units up. And we placed Vivian so that she would be the furthest back and use Vivian as a sacrificial lamb here. Vivian's going to get sucked into the middle and die almost immediately, leaving uh, Rebecca, which is the person bringing the amount of healing that the enemies can take, uh, back into the play here so she doesn't have to die. Uh, as you can see here, we're just going to keep up the attack here. We're going to keep lowering their HP here. They can't heal that much because of Rebecca. Then we're going to go ahead and kill their Seahaw, which can't do that much healing right now because of Rebecca targeting her. And we'll see... Uh, uh, we'll see Siha die right there and all they have left is Mika, Talia, and Angel. Now we went ahead and attacked Angel with uh, Rebecca's attack. So now Angel's not getting as much healing from herself or anything like that. So that means now we're just going to focus down on Angel here. We're going to go ahead and use this attack on Talia. Uh, so that means both of their healers are not getting much healing right now. So we can go ahead and just take both of those out. And it's just an easy win from that point on. Just because we know the abilities of what they have. They had a lot of healers on the team there. And we used Rebecca to bring down the as much healing as possible so they couldn't heal back up and easy win right there we lost a couple of characters there but at the end it was just us versus a mika uh which is still pretty strong to keep in mind but we did end up killing the mika there and winning that round now using friend units guys using friends can help you out a lot and there is absolutely no shame in doing it i had to use a friend to beat stage 1020 here i use my friend's origin mephi here with a blasted out the ass artifact and yeah we went ahead and slaughtered this stage here with what we had using all the tips that I stated in this video of having that minimum level applied to all of my characters. We had our top DPS, which was our Mephi at this time, and we had the correct formation, which was having four in the front, a Haru in the back, to make sure we're targeting Angel in the front, because Haru does a lot of single target damage, and you, we all know that how bad Angel can be as far as dragging enemies in and completely screwing you over, and yeah, this was just an easy win after this. Uh, we absolutely destroyed this stage here with Haru, because Haru does high single target damage, and that's all they really had to offer was they had a good amount of healing and angel in the front was their main issue we were having after we get done with the angel everyone else just has really low hp and we can kill them really quick but yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed um hope you guys can take some of these tips and use them for your own if you have any more tips that i should have mentioned in this video if i got anything wrong leave it in the comments below i'll make sure to pin it i do plan on making more eversoul content probably a video every two days and i'll have a crk video every two days as well uh because i do play both games so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed maybe subscribe too only like 10% of you guys are subscribed to watch my videos and I know the Eversoul people almost no one subscribes so maybe you should subscribe if you like this. Anyways that's gonna do it for today's video guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Later. Bye bye.